So now we want to learn how can we create vectors, right? So we can convert a vector of numerical values or character strings into a vector by making use of vector function, right? So the default behavior of this function is to use the unique values of the vector as the levels and labels for the vector in alphanumeric order. So I went ahead and I have defined or I've created this vector x, right? So if we say x, so we see we have this um, vector of character strings. So if we say mode, and we see this is a vector of character strings. And if we say class, we also see that the class is character. So if we were to create vector, is we can convert this vector by using this vector function, right? So, and if we run this, so you can observe that we now have levels, right? Levels being A, B, and C. And if you can use a mode function and you pass in Y, you observe that it is numeric. So what does this mean? Why are we not getting character? Because A, B, and C, we know them to be characters. So this is how vector function works. A vector in R is actually stored as integer values. These integer values match up to the levels. Okay? Say, for example, in, our, in this case, right, any element with the label A is in fact stored as 1, B stored as 2, and C stored as 3, right? So in general, this will not impact the way in which we work with the factor, but it is quite weird to note that. So now, let us look into what is the class of y. So if you observe this, you will see that the class of y is now effect and not character. Okay.